Hey guys, Kevin Cheek, BBT Best Bass Tournaments, February 13th. I'm standing up here today with the winners of the 37 boat field that we had that you've seen previously in the other in the other two placing videos. First place, it doesn't show that you have to be young to win these tournaments. Anybody can come out. Two 70-year-old dudes came out today and they rocked the field. They were at least three pounds more than any other team out here. Gentlemen, introduce yourselves. Tell these guys how you managed to do that. Just talk to us. Go ahead, Ron. Well, we uh, we weren't going to go where we went, but we got number two blast off. We were going to fish around here close. We ended up, we got number two blast off, so we ended up going up in the river. And we knew that better fish were probably up there, but we figured it was going to be all taken if we didn't get a good blast off. So we went up there, and I was throwing a swim bait, and Denny was drop shotting behind me and he caught the first two fish, including the big fish. I put the swim bait up and got out my drop shot rod and we proceeded to fish very, very slow, almost dead sticking. Uh, it was a very steep, rocky bank. We were fishing in 35, 40 feet of water. Now, Rod, I know who you are, but people on YouTube have no idea, so why don't you introduce yourself? Oh, I'm Rod Burns. <laughs> <laughs> Denny. I'm Denny Bolin. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my wife for letting me come. Uh, she wanted me to go shopping today with her, but uh, I got out of it. So anyway, like Rod said, we uh, ran up in the river, uh, drop shot, and caught one fish on a jig. Uh, but I think we ended up calling it almost all of our fish were caught drop shotting a shad colored worm, 30, 35 foot of water. And as Rod said, we were moving it very, very slow. We, it's the only way you get there. We probably covered no more than 50 yards of the bank all day long. We stayed there until 2 o'clock and then left. Now, guys, I know we've talked multiple times on how your technique is up here. What is the one thing you can tell these guys that are actually fishing with you guys? You have to slow down. Yeah, we watch people fish all day. We, and we, they, we knew they were fishing way too They fast. fished around yeah. us, behind us, in front of us, next to us, and they never caught a fish. Never caught a if fish. If they were just slowed down, they were throwing the right bait. If they were just slowed down and just barely drag it and move it, they would have caught more fish. Would have caught more. Pure and simple. Guys, I, I know you had a story. I don't know if you want to tell your story or if you want to save it for later well, on. I can, I can tell it really quickly. Go uh, for it. Denny was netting my fish, and he left his drop shot rod out the back of the boat. A fish grabbed it and pulled it right off the back of the boat. He tried for uh, an hour to catch that fish with a spoon, that, that rod with a spoon, you know, dragging across, the, catching the line. Didn't get it. I had another drop shot rod on the deck. He picked it up and started using it. And then like the third cast, he got something on, brought it in, and uh, it was hook to hook. It hit my drop shot hook with a worm on it and his with no worm because we figured the fish took it off. So he had a very lucky day. So you, lost, we you lost a rod and a reel with the fish on it, yeah. only to get it back later in the day. To get yeah. it back later in the day, about three hours later. About and three hours. And rod. 20 yards from where we thought it was. It was 20 yards away from so where I apparently thought. that fish took it down the bank away. <laughs> <laughs> that fish wanted to get away from you guys. <laughs> Anybody you guys want to thank? Yeah, I want to thank my wife, uh, Kim. She uh, supports me. Uh, unlike anybody ever has and, and going fishing whenever I want and uh, she she knows that uh, I'm in a whole lot better mood if I take her so she supports that. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> Denny? And my wife, as I said before, uh, if it wasn't for her I couldn't come up here and do this. Uh, I clean house at home. I'm, I, it doesn't bother me one bit to admit it, but in return I get the fish and hunt all my you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Ron. be cleaning house next week. Ron, hey, thanks. Congratulations. Don't run off yet, guys. Denny, it's a pleasure having you guys up here. I can't say it enough, guys. 70 year old just came out here and schooled the whole field. Three pounds up. And how'd they do it? Slow. So for what that's worth, guys, something to think about when you're on your home lakes and these, these older guys are coming out. I want these older guys to come out. I want these guys to talk to these kids out here and tell them, slow down. This is it. Take that advice. Slow down a little bit. Take your time. It's not a race. With that said, congratulations, guys. 
$2,205 today for first place. Big fish of the tournament. How big was the big fish? 413. 413. There it is, guys. First place, February 13th, Pine Flat.